How to build a Lego dice tower. Oh, watch them as they fold and tumble to their demise to meet their destiny on the cold, grassy gnome. Mm, tumble, tumble, tumble. The Builder. Now it is time to watch as we build this Lego dice tower using only the bricks found in the Lego Classic Large Creative Brick Box. Item number 10, 69, and 8. Follow along now. Go on. Do it. Do it. Watch them grow and watch them build and do the whole detective star. Oh, it has eyeballs on the side of the tower. Ugh. Okay, well done. The build, but much slower this time. Now follow along if you would like to build your own dice tower made of Legos. It is going painstakingly slow, so that you may follow along and build it one brick at a time, making it easier to pause as you go. See, the music is much more lighthearted and fun. Just in case you needed to know how to build the flower with the tiny little flower on top of it. Clickety clackety click. Clack. Click. Clack. On goes the track. In one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know why I'm counting any more, but just trying to feel the time as you build along with me, yes. Alright, we have completed the first ramp. Oh, tiny green flowers now. Adding a little bit of flower diversity to our build. The landscaping has finished. Now we're on to the tower. What is this blue stuff doing here? If you would like to be a little more color coordinated than I was, then go out and spend millions and billions of dollars on the same color of Legos that you need in order to build this. Or you could go down to your local mega store and buy a box of random Legos in different colors and different sizes and different shapes for $50. Or maybe it was 40 Either way, it was way too much, but worth it. Continuing. Building. Clicking and clacking away. Oh, now things are getting a little more interesting. Are those flowers inside of that pole? That is there to flippity-floppity the dice for the first time as it goes down the first ramp which we are about to build. And then there are tiny little windows so you can witness the process. The process? Sorry, I mis- I mispronunciated that. Pronunciated. Pronunciated. Keep going around and round, building up towards the sky. What? Wait, what is that clear one doing here? Where did that come from? You're not supposed to be there. Ugh. Got some curves going on. Now we're into the red and brown section. Back to yellow. Oh, do I hate yellow! But they were there and I needed them. And here to the eyeballs. I swear that this tower is inebriated. It was not my choice. I told it to stop and to hold its own and to know its own liquor tolerance. But it did not want to listen, it just wants to party on and on and on. The final ramp is built. 
or maybe the first one, depending on which way or direction you are proceeding. Now on to some more flashy bits that aren't really essential to the dice rolling aspect, but it looks nice and pretty to look at and to be surrounded with in your family. And on to some Greek architecture, with some pillars at the top. I think that's Greek, maybe it's Roman, I don't know. And the final touch is a light bulb which is completely irrelevant to this time period, but it's nice. I like it. Maybe it's just a flaming beacon, I don't know. So enjoy this build, and I hope you had a good time. Like and subscribe, and come back for more later. And perhaps tell me how you would build your LEGO Dice Tower by entering your thoughts in the comments section below. I bid you a farewell.